we may see an increase in the number of bone marrow donations. A federal appeals court in California has ruled that unlike organ donors, bone marrow donors can be paid. We also want to tell you tonight about a controversial procedure for treating abdominal cancers by flooding the body with cancer-fighting drugs. We asked Bill Whitaker to show us how this experimental surgery works. All right, here we go. 25-year-old photographer John Upson is full of life. Three steps forward. <laughs> Taking fighter. pictures of the Little Grammy-nominated heavy Little metal small. band, Little As touch. I Lay Dying. Two years ago, Richard that here. name might have described Upson's medical condition. It began Enjoying. with a pain How's in that? his stomach. I kind of ignored it, let it go for a day, and the next day I couldn't even stand up. He had appendix cancer, a rare aggressive form that had spread throughout his stomach. Eventually the cancer will crowd your organs, somehow find its way to your bloodstream. Then there's no hope and you just kind of have to let it take over. But he found hope with UC San Diego oncologist Dr. Andrew Lowy, a pioneer in an extremely controversial treatment called hot chemo bath. Upson's young age and the rapid spread of his disease made him the perfect candidate. Here's how it worked. Dr. Lowy made an incision from Upson's rib cage to his pelvis. He cut out all visible tumors. Then, using these tubes, filled Upson's abdominal cavity with cancer-killing drugs, the same used in chemotherapy, but heated to almost 108 degrees. In a process dubbed shake and bake, he sloshed the hot chemicals inside Upson's belly for 90 minutes. The whole operation took 10 hours. There are cancer cells which aren't visible to our eyes and therefore can't be operated on. And we're trying to kill those tumor cells which could then be the source of a recurrence. The rationale for using heat is that it's been known for really over a century that heat is uh, toxic to cancer cells. Heat right at the limit healthy cells can withstand actually kills cancer cells. Hot chemo baths have been around for more than a decade, but many doctors and hospitals have been reluctant to try the procedure, considering it too invasive and risky. It involves so many vital organs, and with the patient open for so long, there's increased risk of infection. But Lowy and a handful of other doctors now are showing the baths can be very effective on some colon and abdominal cancers. There you go. And I not just on strong young men like John Upson. When 61-year-old Yehuda Bach and his wife Sharona came to Dr. Lowy, <laughs> he'd been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Their first doctor told them, We'll try to make you comfortable in your remaining days. And that phrase really took us by surprise. The median um, survival time for this type of operation is about 32 months. And now I'm at 49 months. They don't see any, any trace of, of cancers. The results have been so intriguing, a clinical trial is now underway in 10 hospitals across the country. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, La Jolla, California.